awesome, right? All right, another taco tasting here. And one of my favorites, if not my favorite here in Austin, El Chilito. Brother and I just got done with a run this morning, so you always, you know, you earn it, right? And so we did a little over six miles this morning. It was nice and hot, over 92 degrees, I believe. The humidity was up, humidity was up. Um, so now, we treat ourselves a little taco action. So I got a potato and egg, uh, standard have to, and, a, and another barbacoa one. And my brother got uh, got a couple, I think he got a potato and egg and something else, I believe, a vaquero. So it's got fajita meat in it. Anyway, stay tuned, taco tasting in route. All right, welcome to a taco tasting. So, let's kick off with some logistics. First of all, we got guests here with us today. Guest star, Christopher Cabrera, my brother. Taco connoisseur, aficionado, also grew up in South Texas, so we know what we're talking about. So I got another critic here with us. Uh, and let's do a drink check real quick. Drink check, this is Coffee and horchata. For those of you who grew up in South Texas, you know what horchata is. It's kind of like this creamy uh, coconut vanilla. What is it? Like a it's like a sweet Mexican drink, and then they mix it with espresso. I think it's a fruit, right? Horchata. Might be. I don't know. It's it's uh, it tastes like cinnamon and milk. It's delicious. So, and you know it's legit when they put it in just like a regular Coca-Cola thing, right? It's like not even special, right? There's no like special thing. Again, you know how I feel about mom and pop coffee and stuff. So. It's good for a hot day. All right, now let's dig in. Let's see what we got here. We got a couple different ones today. Now, we started off, this is, oh, let me talk about where we're at first. El Chilito. Hold on a second. Old breather boy over here is definitely being loud. Stand by. All right, we're back. So, where are we gonna do, where are we, where are we at today? El Chilito is what, we're, is what we're reviewing for this taco tasting. Now. El Cholito is here on the east side, and they actually probably got a couple other locations. I absolutely think they're one of the best places, if not maybe the best, place to get breakfast tacos that are very close to South Texas tacos. They make homemade tortillas, and you can tell because they're imperfect and got different browning everywhere, a little flour on them. They use real eggs. They use hash brown potatoes. Not that crap that you cut really, like hash brown potatoes. So I know I'm talking up a big game here, that's why I got my extra critic here. He's from South Texas, and he's gonna be—he's gonna give a non-biased review, right? So, what do we get today? All right. First of all, their salsa, epic. They said it's like a chipotle type. It's dark. Can you see that? It's like a dark salsa. It's chipotle, kind of smoky, really delicious. Can't go wrong. Um, I think we got a couple. This is a vaquero, right? Christopher got a vaquero. A vaquero is eggs, potatoes, and fajita. Right, this kid is a fajita eating machine, so fajitas, right, is, is what he's got, right? So we got a fajita, and then east side. East, this east side is like cheese pizza. This is, you gotta do, when you do a real taco tasting, you gotta go for the potato egg. If you don't do potato and egg, then you don't really know, you don't have a baseline, right? I mean, if they put, you know, they sprinkle sugar on it, and uh, you know, and all kinds of, you know, crazy stuff, you might think it's a great taco, but this is gonna let us know if it's a good by itself. All right, so he's got an east side, I got an east side, and then I also got a barbacoa. For those of y'all who don't know barbacoa, I'll dig into what this is when we eat it. I'll tell you what it is at the end after you look at it. It's delicious. I usually eat it with just salt. And sometimes I mix it in with some eggs. It's a treat. I remember my grandfather used to get a whole thing of barbacoa growing up, and we used to all split it up and eat it. So anyways, barbacoa, I'll dig into what this is. Some of the most tender meat you'll ever eat. So, on with the review. Let's dig into the east side. Chris, you want anything? You want to say anything? You got No, no, we're good. good. Let's dig. All right. So, here we are. Here we are. You doing east side first? East side. East side first. Now, let's look at the let's look at the cross section on this. Looks good. Right? Okay. Look at this. Can you see that? They got that, look at that cheese, man. It's just been stewing in there. The potato Real eggs, right? That's huge, right? It's real eggs. So, and what happened? You, they have a clear window. It's how much they believe in their product? They got a clear window all the way around when they're making these things. They make each one to order. They don't prepackage them and leave them sitting, stewing there like some places. No, no, no. 
They make them fresh to order. So, it's good to go. Uh oh. Here's a question for you. Are you a, uh, what's your ratio on taco to ingredients? I like less ingredients, more uh, tortilla. Oh, more tortilla. Ooh, man, now, I'm, I'm probably a one to one. So yeah, that sometimes what ends up, it's a good question, it's a pro question, right? The problem with, with having, t uh, the, so for me, it's gotta be almost equal parts filling and equal parts tortilla. I know you like more tortilla, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, he likes more tortilla. I, there's ones that are explosive and people think you're getting it like you're, they're doing you a favor. They're not, right? First of all, you need to, it's just like, you know, sushi's got rice. It's the rice that's actually the main star. Uh, you know, you got uh, sandwiches, right? The bread, the sourdough, the rye. That's the main attraction, right? And then everything else is a compliment. I believe that way about tacos. Uh, and I believe that way about tortillas. So I can understand why you want to highlight the tortilla, but it's got to be a good tortilla though, it does. right? It does. Okay. I'm gonna let him dig in. I gotta get some salt, otherwise, you know me. This look, we, I think I'm gonna blame myself. I forgot to grab a couple packets. You're supposed to. So I'm gonna leave them with you for a second. All right, we're back. We got some salt now. All right, you gotta salt it just enough, just enough. Right? Again, salt makes all potatoes equal. You want some? <laughs> Salsa taste. Oh, very good God. salsa. Right? Okay. Very good salsa. I didn't say it first, I think. I wanted to make sure I didn't skew you. Mmm. You see his technique? He puts it on the t t taco, then eats it. You can do that. I like to dip mine. Like that. Delicious. I call that Texas two-step, the way I do it. What do you think? Delicious. Is it? It's... Guys, this is some of the most, it's the most integrated flavors. You taste the cheese, you taste the potato, you taste the eggs. Mmm, man. It's, it's good. It's undescribable, well I just described it, so I guess it is describably good, but it is good. The reason I like what they do, they, their ingredients are super simple, and you're seeing them make it in front of you. So there's no hiding, there's no like weird sauces and stuff that without it, or you know, let me put a ton of avocado on it. First of all, what do you think about avocado on breakfast tacos? Don't do, Don't do it. it. Don't do it. A lot of people get, you know, hey, Don't a little it. extra, man, it, you're ruining it. You know what? You can put avocado on a Goodyear tire, it's gonna taste good. Don't put the avocado on it. Taste it without it first, right? Do the chef some, uh, some, uh, some service there. Now, I'm gonna keep eating this one here, but I wanna talk to you all about barbacoa. Now take a look at this bad boy. Can you see that? got all the flavors. Oh man. Delicious, right? You want some? Mm. This, this brings me back to my childhood. Now here's the thing about barbacoa tacos. It is the meat off the, do you know what it is? The face. Face of the cow. It's the meat off the face of the cow. They stew it for a long time to let all that meaty goodness come off. It is delicious. There's no eyeballs or nothing in it, but the food is delicious. And the way that I best can describe, think about the best pot roast you ever ate times 10, then you add a little bit of like salt from God on there, it's game changer. Very tender. What I like to do, if I got a lot of extra, we used to fry them up on a frying pan, right? So you get it extra crispy, you mix it in with eggs, game changer. So anyway, that's the taco tasting for today. I just wanted to give you all a little preview of some of the, they got a lot of different ones out there. The cherry wood is another good one, but it's got avocado on it, so you just learned what I felt about that. Get the east side, you're not gonna regret it. It's, again, this has gotta be in the top three places in Austin to get a taco, and if you're from South Texas, you're gonna notice the real deal here, uh, or pretty daggone close, right? It's even kinda, it's not a full trailer, but it's like a little sh shack. Uh, and then barbacoa, do yourself a favor, get some barbacoa, you know, and see how it goes. Um, you know, you got the vaquero, you wanna give that a quick peek real quick? Yeah. Before we end this tasting, we might as well see what the vaquero's all about. At least give them a cross section what that looks like. Let's go hold it up there. Eggs, a little bit of beef fajita in there. And cheese. Why don't you give it a taste? You ready to eat it? I oh, am. Of course you'd eat it. I so usually what coming. I would do with this ratio is I would make two tacos out of it. I didn't get any spare tortillas though. He does do that. He'll cut them in half, put another tortilla in there. He's been doing that for a long time. I don't even know what they call that. Texas Waltz or something. It's good.
Is it? Very good. Real fajita meat or? Real fajita meat. See, sometimes they put trash fajita meat in there. They put like steak tips and nobody wanted. Real tender. It's good? Mm-hmm. Oh, All right, All right, that's the taco tasting. Thank our guest, Christopher Cabrera, for being on the show today. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Go get you some Chilito.